and the BAFTA goes to Jane Perry in Return. Of. That is an amazing win for Jane Perry. I cannot believe that's her first ever nomination, given how prolific and amazing her career has been in games. It is incredible. It's a well-deserved win. That's such a tough category year after year. But Jane's going to be on the sofa with us in the post-show party, so an extra reason to tune in. Yes. Holy doodle. Uh, gosh. Wow, okay, here we go. Um, thank you, thank you BAFTA for this. And thank you so much for celebrating and recognizing the artistry, the incredible talent in the games industry. And to my fellow nominees, it has been such a pleasure to get to know you better and I am truly honored to be in your company. Um, absolutely. Uh, I, I have to start by thanking Harry Kruger, Gregory Loudon, Toy Vocalio, and writer Luke Malding of Housemark and Sony Interactive for bringing to life and <laughs> several deaths the person who became Celine. Performers dream of having a role like that to sink our teeth into, and Housemark, you delivered exactly that. She is a middle aged woman. She's a single mom, and she is courageous and strong. And despite her considerable loss and her trauma, she never gives up. She hopes for a better future, and I think given the very serious state of the world right now, that we can all take inspiration from Celine. I also want to thank my performance director, Damien Goodwin. Our collaborations over the past few years have meant so much to me, and I could not have done this without you. Damien, you are amazing. Thank you to my agents at Soho Voices and to my beautiful husband, Hussein, for your undying support. And finally, a big shout out to the gamers and the fans of Returnal. This Oh, this is for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>